Hi, I'm Matthew Quick, and my novel is The Reason You're Alive. It was a really tough book for me to write. I like to emphasize the word inspired by and not based on, um, but my Vietnam vet uncle, with whom I had a really close relationship, and he passed uh, a few years ago. He used to leave me voice messages on my phone. The first were just these wildly audacious, like crazy, offensive messages because that's who he was. You know, when he loved somebody, he would attack them. And then the other types of messages were these really impassioned, you know, just how are you doing? You know, I'm somebody who struggles with social anxiety, so he would check up on me. I thought if I could create a character that might be really off-putting at first to certain people, but if they go on this journey and they understand there's reasons why this person might be saying the things that other people find offensive, um, then we can move that needle a little bit more towards empathy and understanding. Tell us a little bit about David Granger. David Granger is a 68-year-old uh, Vietnam vet whom at the end of his life develops a brain tumor and after he has it removed, um, he loses his filter yeah. and sometimes his statements are not politically correct. But the thing about David that I love is because he tells you the worst things that he's thinking, we believe him when he tells us the best. He's just telling you exactly what he thinks and I think that transparency is so beautiful and I think it scares people. He is an incredibly tolerant person for somebody who says intolerant things. Exercise is one of the things that he uses to deal with his anxiety, mm. right? He goes to his spin class and yep, that's where yep. he meets Timmy and he goes and plays basketball. Yep. How do you cope with it? Lately I've been doing a lot of running. I've tried to run seven to eight miles every day and that burns off the anxiety for me. This is the first book tour that I've done completely clonopin and alcohol free, which is a big deal for me. Do you point. ever feel like you've made it? I've met authors who are much more accomplished than I am, and I've met people in Hollywood that are incredibly famous, and none of them are <laughs> off camera. Like, they're, they're not people who are, you know, I've made it, I'm satisfied, like, now I'm gonna go take a nap. No, it's, people make it because they're not satisfied. Like, that's what drives them. I, I wonder why we always are thinking, like, are we satisfied yet? I think that's dangerous, you know? I think we should let people be unsatisfied, you know, and be okay with that. This has been incredible. I could talk to you all day. Thank, thank you. you so much for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. I could talk all day as well. And thank you for watching Word on Words. I'm JT Ellison. Keep reading. For most of my 30s, I would make stupid statements like, I don't trust fiction writers who don't drink. All my heroes were notorious alcoholics. I think I've kind of grown up a little bit. <laughs>